Warning, cheaters may contain adult themes and strong language. Parents are cautioned that this program may not be suitable for children. Coming up on this episode of Cheaters. He's with this woman again. I don't want to come find him. What the hell are you doing? What are you doing? What the f is going on? Oh, oh bitch. Hey, hey. hey. stop. Let go of her. Let go of me. You better get your security and grab me. Yeah, yeah. I don't need from Cheater's surveillance cameras, you are about to view actual true stories filmed live, documenting the pain of a spouse or lover caused by infidelity. This program is both dedicated to the faithful and presented to the false-hearted to encourage their renewal of temperance and virtue. Just like he's just trying to keep a big secret from me. I just can't go on anymore. I need to know the truth. I don't like being the one that has to show you this. Oh, Jesus. I asked her about his, and she said nothing was going on. Do you want to confront him? Oh, yeah. Hey, me there. Yeah, I got him. Hey, go. Go. Get that camera. Get that camera. Get that Whoa, whoa. This is, like, not how this is supposed Whatever, to work, Whatever, just go. Dog. Go with him. <laughs> I love you. I'm so sorry. Real Reality Television as brought to you by Cheaters Detective Agency's Private Eyes on Cheaters. Hi, I'm Joey Greco. Welcome to this installment of Cheaters. Please meet Whitney Stevens, a college student who believes her boyfriend may be dating other women while she's away at school. Concerned with his misleading behavior, Whitney appoints cheaters to ascertain his devotion. Whitney Stevens, age 21. A student who is worried that her boyfriend may be in the company of other women while she's away at school. When I met AD, it was just something different about him. You know, he was kind, he was sweet, and I was a freshman in high school. He was a junior. And, you know, he's a couple years older than me, so my mom was kind of, hmm. But, you know, she liked him, my family liked him. Well, when I first got to school, he would come visit me on the weekend. And then slowly, surely stopped. The visit stopped. And I would have to try to come home more to see him. And then now it's just, we're just so distant. My calls were being declined. I could tell that he was on the other line with people. And he wouldn't click over. And that's not a good feeling at all for you know, your boyfriend, you know, potential husband, maybe. You know, you're calling him just to see how he's doing or whatever, and he won't even click over. It's, you know, it's painful. You know, I'm always worried about what he's doing, you know, who he's with. And I just, I just don't understand if he is, you know, lying to me and he is cheating on me. I don't understand how he could do this to me. Someone that he wants to have a future with. It just doesn't make sense. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, cheaters licensed investigators may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. A.D. Williams, age 23, a computer salesman who may be stretching the truth about his mysterious whereabouts. Investigation day eight. After eight long and tiring days, Cheaters investigators finally got a lead in the case. Their stakeout proves to be beneficial on this evening as an unknown vehicle pulls into the front of the suspect's place of residence. An attractive unknown female exits the car and walks straight up to the front door. Cheaters PIs are somewhat stunned when she pulls out a key and lets herself inside. The situation quickly turns sour as the bedroom lights are extinguished. Hours later, movement is detected at the front door, and the unidentified woman prepares to depart the premises. Suspect A.D. Williams appears to be shirtless as he gives the woman a hug and a kiss goodbye. Investigation Day 11. Cheaters inspectors are back at Suspect Williams' residence just as an unknown vehicle pulls in. The companion, who has now been identified as Aaliyah Wilrich, gets out of the car with no idea whatsoever that she's under surveillance by Cheaters detectives. After approximately 45 minutes, the couple makes a grand entrance onto the balcony to spend a little time under the starry night. Things begin to heat up after companion Wilrich lights a few candles to set the mood. Cheaters detectives close the day's investigation after companion Wilrich disappears down the boulevard. 
Investigation day 13. Cheater's PIs remain holed up for hours at suspect Williams' home. Companion Wilrich's familiar looking vehicle is spotted coming toward his residence. Suspect Williams walks out of his house and promptly hops into his girlfriend's cool little coupe. After a long drive, the couple ends up at a beautiful lake on the outskirts of town. Suspect Williams takes his lady for a nice little stroll along the long and winding pier. He seems to forget that he has a girlfriend who is in need of some occasional attention herself. He shows just how much she means to him in a recorded phone call. Cheaters' agents have compiled a considerable amount of evidence and decide that Whitney deserves to know every last detail about her boyfriend's cheating heart. After the break, the confrontation. Now that all indications point to two-timing, Cheaters gathers the case evidence to inform Whitney her boyfriend's been seeing another woman. Setting aside all reservations, Whitney comes forward to safeguard her self-respect. Whitney, thanks for being here tonight. I know you came down from Oklahoma. Yes. We do have some information that our investigators did want you to see. Are you ready to take a look at that? Yeah. As the investigation starts, a detective is outside of AD's apartment. We did identify a young woman pull up and then let herself into his home. The upstairs light turns off. After some time, they walk down. He lets her out, and I can, I really can't tell if he's got a shirt on or not. I don't have any clothes on. They embrace at the door, and then as she walks away, he just stands there and leers at her for a second. Now, on this day, as it turns out, the same young lady mm -hmm. goes into his apartment. She has a, this time. She has a key. She just lets herself in. They go out to the balcony, and now she lights some candles. They're embracing on the balcony. Yeah, everything is starting to all come together now. Now on this day, Whitney, they were followed to a picnic area right by a lake. And there we've got them walking, holding hands, embracing. And I don't know, I'm sorry. That's, I know you don't expect to see that. I, Okay. No, I'm not okay. Well, he's with this woman again tonight. They went out to eat, then they went to a hotel. A hotel? With that information, what do you want to do? I want to confront him. Okay. I just don't understand. I need some closure. What questions do you think you want to ask him? Why? You want to throw away what we have to just mess with some girl? Gomez, we're right here now. Okay. All right. Okay, we're going around the back. Was it 1.30? Management. Go. 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 What the hell are you what doing? What are you doing? What the is going on? I thought you were supposed to be with your mother friends this weekend. 
friend. We was, man. It's my. Just, oh, who you? That's just a friend, for real. I'm telling just you. The it's friend. Just yeah. the mother friend. Do all your friends have keys to your house? What you talking about, man? Yeah, I done seen what every the, mother. Man, you man, like that bitch from my coat? What the f is going on? Got me on. She ain't talking. Away from me. Why are you mad at her, though? I'm not mad at her. But she's okay. like, well, come here embarrassing me, having me on TV. Oh, and can you understand that she's upset? Right. And I can why? understand that she's okay. upset. He's a dog, but okay, she don't you know, have any questions okay. asking me. Right. You know what? Okay, what? I understand what? that. What? what? You know what diffuses that? What? Not yelling at one another. Not, not yelling okay. at one that's, that's why. That's why I'm, that's, that's okay. That's okay. okay. She's a silly one. Coming up next, the conclusion. Not yelling at one another. Not, not yelling okay. at one that's, that's why, that's why I'm, that's, that's okay, that's okay. okay. She's a silly one. Baby, let's go somewhere and talk. No, no, what the, the hell do you got to no, say? No, my, you can, no, my, you can have this key. No, no, or do you want the key? Do you even have the damn key? Yeah, bitch, I got a key. Man, no, bitch, no, man, I'm bitch, telling you, she ain't. Grab key? Go somewhere, Tell man. Me. I suggest hey, you get hey. your mother hey. ass somewhere. Hey. Point that finger, I'll bite the shit off. Okay, yeah, well, I'll bite the mother Hey, girls. Girl. Out, man. What you doing? You ain't nothing but a hoe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My hotel with you. I don't know why you want to be with you. Go Baby. Baby. Oh, man. What? 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 How you like that? How you like that? How you like that? I'm wrong, motherfucker. I'm wrong. Bitch, I'm wrong. You gave a key. 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 Damn key, she, man. She do it. It's somewhere. It's got a million keys. Damn key, say. I want to know what the hell was going on. I know now. You saying, you saying you don't look? Man, get the camera out of my face, man. Ad. Sorry, if you don't calm get the cameras second. out listen, of my face. Listen, listen, calm down for a second. Dumb bitch. Dumb, Dumb bitch. bitch. This stupid ad. Ad. Mm -hmm. look, look, look at her. You think she's gonna stand around for that yeah, kind of yeah. nonsense? Yeah, I do. But obviously, this ain't. I, man, you've been going out to. I, you been I've been gone, gone for a couple of months. A couple of months? A man. couple of months. So what? So what am I supposed to do? Oh. So I'm just been gone for a couple of months, and so what you do? That means what we had when. What? What is it? Look. Say we don't I'm trying anything. to talk to all these You're cameras. Not listen, listen, listen. We don't have Look. anything to talk about. Come on, man. Chill out. No, 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 no. That's right. You're not oh, the man. Oh, not me. No. Uh-uh. Take yeah. your hands off her, all right? Right. If she, she's done with you. Right. Shut up. You some other stupid. I said I'm sorry, all right? Baby, baby, you love me? Huh? Just say it. Say you don't. I'll leave you alone. Get the hell out of here. Say you don't. Get the hell out of here. Say you don't, Get then. Get the hell out of here. Say you don't, then. Stop. Say you don't, hey, then. Hey, hey. Stop. Let go of her, Let go of me. Come on, why is you grabbing me, man? Don't touch her, all right? Don't grab her. You want to talk to her? Great. I really want you to get the this, out of my face. To talk. Well, from now on. For real. No. You what? don't mean, damn it. Well, she might need to start meaning something to you. Stop. Come on. Let go of me. Let's talk about okay. it. For real. You don't want to talk about it? Nope. You lying. Go. Let's go. I'm about to leave. Babe, right, let's talk about you. Here we go. Man, let me talk wait, wait, hang on. No, you ain't can't. No, on, hang on. Man. Hang on, bro. No, uh, uh, Whoa, no. Man. Baby. Look. Say that. Yeah. You want to see it? You want to see it? Okay. What's up, Doc? Yeah, you better get your security grab me. Yeah, no, no, I don't need security. Yeah, you do. I need security, mother. You know what? I've about had it. Do this. Let your security yeah, right? go. Yeah, right. It'll take me five Let seconds to put you down. Me. Five Let seconds. Tell your security, let me go. Then. Let him go. You all right? Yeah. I don't really want to end like this.
After the confrontation, Whitney confirms that her boyfriend is just a boy who still needs to play the field. Coming up shortly, Cheaters discloses what she's mapped out for her optimistic future. But next, Cheaters presents the young woman responsible for so much difficulty in the Malachi Dancer case. Remaining anonymous, she comes to Cheaters to share her story. Identity withheld, age 21. The young lady comes to Cheaters to discuss her activities in the Malachi Dancer case. We hear this bang on the door, and I'm like, oh my God, it's the cops. I'm freaking out. So I grab all my start running to the bathroom. Jared opens the door like a dumbass. I start flushing it, and I'm looking for a way out of there. Then I hear Malachi's voice. I'm like, I flushed all my drugs down the toilet for him. Turn him on 42. Can you come out, please? Hey. Here. Hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. My girlfriend in there, mother? You, dog. You. I'm Tommy Grant from the TV show Cheaters. Man? We've been following you guys there? together. Has she told you she was in a relationship? I, she said she's way past that. Start off Malachi and I doing drugs together. And whenever he couldn't supply us with the drugs, I go out and find some way to supply us with the drugs. And he never asked questions. Then once he got on his ankle monitor, he started talking about having kids and getting married, and I'm too young for that. You want to come out and face this? It's right there, man. She don't want you to die. You keep it. Bitch, for all I care. He's got I'm the one cheating, huh? You all right, you with him. Why are you, why are you just stringing him along? You know I haven't been cheating on you, you stupid. After the conversation with Malachi, I was just like, screw this. I mean, I thought we had an understanding of our relationship. I can't believe he put me through all that. And me and Jared, well, Jared just got a little too boring, a little too fast, you know? And as far as relationships go, why I dated Malachi for that long, I have no idea. But I don't want a relationship, long-term relationship anymore. I'm through with that, that. I just want to have fun. I want to see, I want to be seen. No, honestly. But you can't come out here talk to me? Just f two years. You just can't face it, can you? Why don't you come out here talk to me? Oh, Peace. I mean, it's unbelievable. Look, I'm me. I'll always be me. I like to go out and party. I like to do drugs, I like to have sex. I like to do all the things society looks down on, all the things society thinks is wrong. I'm never gonna change, nobody's ever gonna change me, and I ain't changing for nobody. Whitney Stevens reveals that she has made the decision not to carry on a relationship with Mr. Williams. Due to her young age, she declares that school is more important than trying to tame a dog whose main objective is getting wild. Whitney says that he can use all the practice he can get since his talents in bed are something less than spectacular. She also speculates that he needs to prove to himself that his manhood is of adequate proportion. She reports it's on the paltry side. After giggling uncontrollably for a few minutes, Whitney expressed her deepest appreciation to cheaters for getting to the bottom of her troubling case. A.D. Williams has no excuse for getting busted in a motel room with another woman. He says that Whitney refuses to give him sexual favors and claims that she's just never in the mood. That, combined with her being gone for months at a time, leads to his unfaithfulness. Mr. Williams now says that it's best to remain single since he knows that his appetite for many women is quite sizable. He claims that the ladies are crazy about him, but he remains puzzled as to why they don't beat his door down after a one-night stand. Aaliyah Wilrich did not have much to say when contacted by Cheaters producers. She did, however, say that Mr. Williams straight up lied to her about having a girlfriend. Ms. Wilrich states that he's an attractive guy, but agrees with Whitney in regard to Mr. Williams' ability, or lack thereof, to perform in the bedroom. 